I'm going to show you how you can write and publish 300 articles per hour using an AI content generator. Now, before I do so, I want to give you actual valuable and tangible examples. These guys right here, Bankrate, they have all these articles written by AI that rank on Google and get traffic, as you can see here. Most of these get a ton of traffic. And as you can see here, this was written by Bankrate themselves, their AI model, and edited by a uh, actual human writer. Some of these are, of course, um, edited, reviewed, and written by humans sometimes, and proofread. But a lot of these articles, this is essentially the uh, page for their Bankrate. These are all the articles that are AI wrote. And as you can see, if you click this, all of these are properly structured, properly optimized with in-article images, quotes, I mean, key takeaways, images, all this, uh, which is great. And again, these are indexed in Google, as you can see here, and they do get a ton of traffic. Now, the tool I'm using for this, uh, if we go here to my dashboard, then I do want to show you how it looks like because the articles this generates are insane. I'm going to show you here uh, one for the dog grooming niche because I think it's uh, one of the most visual examples I can give you. If I click here, view, this was all done with AI. I can skim through these, even the images right here. Uh, I can skim through these. I, I have the table of contents, which is interactive. I have that up here, the key takeaways, right? Key takeaways, proper article structure with internal links, so linking out to other pages on my site, external links, in-article images, uh, in-article videos that are relevant, not just to the article itself, but also to the section in which they're included in. For example, this section talks about uh, nail clippers, and this is a video, of course, on how to clip your dog's uh, nails, right? So it's relevant to the section in which it's included in. More in article images, in this case, we have a table, more links, and down here, we have an FAQ section, and up here, a call to action to uh, uh, the business to call the business and, and essentially book a call to groom your dog. And I can just go here and publish them all, one by one, publish, publish, publish to my site, or if I want, I can just go here, publish all, and all three will be published to my site. Now, it, it here says integration because you can essentially, essentially connect this with any site you have. You can do, you can connect with WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow, uh, Blogger, even Zapier or an external API if you like. But the thing, the cool thing about uh, this little uh, tool right here is that it generates, right, and also automatically publishes the content if you want, right? Because I showed you two ways of doing it manually. If you go here, if you set up an auto blog, I won't do it right now. Um, I'll show you how it works though. You can just select here how many articles you want. You can do 300 every single month, week, day, 12 or six hours. So if I set this like this, right, you connect Journalist AI, right, with uh, your blog. Let's say this is your blog right here. And every single week, right, uh, Journalist AI will generate, let's say G, plus it will publish content to my site on autopilot. All these 300 a week, and you can, of course, also set the delay in between each article. If I expand one of these articles right here, this is an individual article right here, all these will have a featured image, uh, a table of contents, right? Proper article structuring, um, internal links, so linking out to other pages on your site, maybe to other blog posts, this can interlink between each other, right? These will not interlink in a random way. These will all interlink in a way that makes sense. Maybe we have links to your site's homepage, maybe to have links to your site's contacts page. Uh, in article images relevant to your niche, in article videos relevant to your niche as well. Bullets, tables, external links, so links linking out to external sources uh, of your website, for example, Wikipedia. Uh, if this is an article about finance, linking out to TechCrunch, Investopedia, all those. And down here, of course, a call to action, in this case, to your product or service. So again, a section in, at the bottom in which um, it is according uh, in accordance with the context of the article as a whole. There's a section right here that essentially is a call to action to uh, people buying your product or service. A lot of people use this uh, for Shopify stores. For example, you connect this with your Shopify store and it produces articles about your products. Right down here, and this article about I don't know dog grooming products, dog grooming products. Sorry, there's here the link to uh, the product you sell on your Shopify store about that. Now, on top of that, on top of generating and also publishing the content, it also indexes the content for you. Just click here and set this up with uh, Google Search Console, but also the skew research for you, which is insane, right? You click here. Uh, let's just do this right here. I won't do a new one, but let's do this one. Uh, this is a, a site about gardening. I just put my site name, my URL, my country and language, and this tool will take all this info plus your competitor's info and come up with keywords that have low uh, SEO difficulty, so that are easy to rank for, and decent search volume. So again, this is for the gardening niche, right? So we have uh, gardening 101 PDF. This is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure what happened here, but we can still see them, right? Um, gardening uh, 101 PDF. So this essentially is a pretty cool keyword. Only 40 searches per month, but these are available searches because people looking for a gardening 101 PDF are essentially newcomers to the gardening niche, and they want a PDF. They want to read. They want to learn. So these are very, very targeted people with a buyer intent. They want your PDF so you can 
uh, so they can learn more. So you can take their email, retarget them. It's pretty cool, right? You have a bunch of more ideas here, and you can just select the ones you want. Right now, let me, let me just refresh right here real quick. I can just select the ones I want real quick down here, right? And have this AI produce content around these keywords. Now, I want to show you how it works in specific. So to generate content, you just click here, the Generate Articles tab, and you have these three modes, which are not very, uh, quite, are quite simple, but I want to go over the advanced mode because this is where it gets fun. But real quick here, the simple mode essentially give you a URL, business description, select how many articles you want, select the language because you can select from over 150 different languages, pretty cool. So if you're targeting, if you're targeting, sorry, international markets, you can, in Spanish, Portuguese, French, you can do whatever you want here. Titles mode, pretty self-explanatory, just give it titles, select the language, click generate, and it'll generate content based on those, on those titles. Keyword modes, it generate the, it generates, sorry, the content based on those keywords. Now, Here's where the fun begins, advanced mode. And to use this, you just select your preset, select how many articles you want, and click generate. Now, let's play around with these presets, because if I go here to presets, and let's just do my, my dog grooming preset right here. We give you seven steps right here, so you can customize your output of the articles, right? Base is your select the generation mode. I, in this case, I chose titles. You can connect your brand right here. If you click brand, you can select your brand right here. Uh, by connecting it into here. Essentially, putting it short, brands is a way of you connecting journalist AI with your brand and your brand has assets associated with it, whether that's your website, your YouTube channel, uh, your LinkedIn, your brand's LinkedIn, your brand's Twitter or X, uh, some text documents, some even some audio documents, all these, right, are brand's assets, right? And what you're doing here by connecting your brand with, this, with journalist AI, this software right here, you allow journalist AI to learn and know about your brand as much as you as the founder or the owner knows. So the content that it produces is brand tailored your, with your brand's images, your brand's mannerisms, your brand's tone of voice. So you do this by connecting it here. Essentially by connecting your brand, sorry, essentially by connecting your brand, uh, you make sure that the content produced isn't uh, generic. Then content here is where you select the language, over 150 different languages. You can select how creative or original versus how uh, correct or factual you want the content to be. This will of course depend on how you want your brand to come across. Uh, how you want your brand to speak. You can just also change the tone of voice of the content, neutral, funny, from academic. You can, put, you can even put here, sorry, uh, dog tone of voice. You, you try this out to see how it works, pretty, pretty cool. You can choose the point of view as well. You can give it custom instructions. Again, the whole goal of these seven steps is to give you the most control over the output. Structure here, you can add your call to actions. So like I said, in the articles you generate at the bottom, there's gonna be a call to action section. So for example here, if you add, add here, sorry, a link for, uh, in this case, it is a dog grooming uh, link, right? So if you go to this page, you can book a call with these guys to go out there and groom and have them groom your dog, right? Um, the link where this, uh, the section, sorry, where this link will be included in, included in here at the bottom will make sense according to the context of the article as a whole. Also, the anchor text, which is a little text you click to go to the link, will make sense according to the paragraph. So nothing, none of this is random and forcefully included in here. All this is meticulously done, so it makes perfect sense. You can do the headings adding manually if you like. You can enable the key, key takeaway section that I just saw before. You can enable and disable the FAQs. Uh, here, these two is already set up internal linking, so just paste in here your sitemap URL. Again, your article, article sorry, will have links in it. Some links will go to other blog posts of yours. Some links might go to your homepage, right? Some links might go to your contacts page. And you do this pretty simply by just copying in here and pasting your sitemap URL, uh, which is pretty fun. You can even filter it if you want through this. External linking, you just click here, right? Enable this and we'll read through the article that we just created for you and go out there and find niche uh, relevant articles to your niche language. So again, if you write an article, have an article written about finance, right? We'll go out and find on Investopedia, Wikipedia, TechCrunch, all these authoritative sources in the niche of finance and figure out pages on these sites, articles on these sites, which, you, which we can add links from your article to theirs. Does that make sense? You just enable this and that's done. You can, of course, add your own if you like. Uh, now, images, this is the visual part. You can have your articles have stock images, Google Lenses free photos, even your own custom images or these two AI model for images, which are amazing, super, super realistic, as you saw. And you can enable or disable the featured images or in-article images. And finally, here are the videos. Um, you just enable this, uh, and essentially, we will write your article, read through it, then go on YouTube, right, and find the best or most relevant video that we can place in your article. And again, the video will be placed, not randomly, it will be placed in a section, right, in the in middle of the article in, in a place that makes sense. Nothing is random here. Or if you want, you can just use your own, uh, own links by pasting them here. Then hit save, then go to generate articles again, advanced mode, select your preset right here, 
select how many articles you want, 300, and this GSC generate. Now, all this is manual. If you want to automate the process, just go here to auto blogs, uh, new auto blog, right? Real quick, name it whatever you want, select your preset. In this case, my dog grooming preset. Select how many articles you want. Let's do 300 every six hours. Uh, select where you want to post them. Let's do my WordPress site. Active and create new auto blog. And again, every single every six hours, 300 articles will be, will be posted, right? You can also set up the, um, the the delay here if you don't want them to be posted all at the same time. You can set this up here by um, having only, let me see here, then be posted within 15 minute gaps, right? You can choose this if you'd like. So that's the power of this tool. It's pretty cool. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Try it out because AI is here to stay and people and big brands are using it to get articles ranked and even written by these AI models. Of course, some of them are edited, proofread by humans, but the base is, is, then, is then with AI. And oftentimes I give this analogy, which is I'll, I'll have, give it one, one last time. If you think about this as a ladder, ladder to success, that's success down here, up here, let's call it money, right? Previously to write articles, you had to figure out doing the key research, right? Then actually writing the content, then figuring out or finding images to add to the content. Same thing for videos. Then reading through it and figuring out the best place to add internal links, external links, your calls to action, proofreading, and that's just so much things to do, right? With, with AI and tools like Journalist AI, you skip all of these steps, right? Because it does the keyword research for you, right? It does the content generation, does the content publishing, which takes, it takes so much time, and also the content indexing, just by enabling a couple of um, features here, the indexing and playing around with the keyword monitors. So it's super cool. Again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. Try it out. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.